Nice. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the details of how you can start this fantastic side hustle. In this tutorial, I'll guide you through the process of creating engaging data comparison videos with the help of AI tools. Let's shine a spotlight on these three channels that have been making money in this niche. These channels got millions of views with data comparisons videos. I use these channels as an example, but there are many more in existence. Some channels have been around a bit longer, but some channels have not and show that it still works to make money in this niche. It's evident that you can earn a significant amount of money through it, as you can see. Let's start with making a template on Canva. Open Canva on your laptop. I like to get straight to the point. If the video is moving too quickly for you, feel free to pause or slow down the video. I'm using the free version of Canva. Create a new design and select these dimensions. Press Shift plus R on your keyboard to display the rulers you need for creating this template. Use these ruler dimensions for this template. Choose a background color for your template. The background color of my template is... Ensure that page 1 has no color, but is simply white. Create four rectangles and ensure they fall within the ruler dimensions you have set. Choose a color that you like for these rectangles. My color code is... Select all rectangles and click then on the lock icon. Use these ruler dimensions for this template. Select a shape. I'll choose the square and place them above. To do this quickly without copying and pasting, you can use the following keyboard shortcuts. For Mac, Option. For Windows, Alt press the button in on your keyboard and also click on the shape. Then drag the shape to the desired position. Give these shapes a nice color. These are the color codes I've used. But everyone will now do this, so use different colors to stand out. Select the square shape again and move it to the desired position. Give it a color and also add a border to it. The border color is black and got a border weight of 4. To do this quickly without copying and pasting, you can use the following keyboard shortcuts. Select the square shape again and move it to the desired position. Give it a color and also add a border to it. Use the shortcuts again to copy and paste the yellow rectangles and drag them to the correct position. Pay close attention to ensure that the yellow rectangles are centered. Drag down the sides of the red rectangles Create an account on ChatGPT. It's free and asks the following question to ChatGPT. I'm using football players for this example and we'll discuss the first club where they ever played for. If you don't nothing about football like me, make sure to check the answers because they may not always be correct. Choose a shape again. I'm using four squares. These will be the backgrounds for the photos. This is the color code that I have used for the squares. Search on Google for PNG photos of football players. Upload them to Canva. Select the football players you want to use for this template. Why do I use PNG images? Because it saves me from cutting out the pictures. Plus, I can change the background to make it look better. Some pictures have backgrounds with different colors and I don't like that, so I fix it with PNG. Choose a cool font. The font I'm using is called Waffle Soft, and the font size is 39.4. But everyone will now do this, so use a different font to stand out. Add more text. I'm using these dimensions for letter spacing and line spacing. Add the football club's logos, ensure they are properly aligned in the center of the green frame. Create as many templates as you want. For this example, I've made six. Yes, I changed the color. Now, you might think you're done, but there's more. We're creating another template for the intro of the video. Create a new design and select the dimensions. Ensure the layers are no longer locked in this template. Copy the first football player. 
Paste the layer into this template and position the layer in the center. Repeat this process for all four players. Save all templates as PNG images. Note that this feature is not free. You need the paid version of Canva, which I don't have. Therefore, I'll save it as a JPG image and remove the white borders using Photoshop. I use Photoshop to edit the images, removing the five white borders, and then save the photos as PNG. Photoshop also comes with a cost. But you can remove those white borders using a program software like GIMP, which is free or remove BG. Just make sure to eliminate the white borders. In total, you now have 11 templates, which are these. Make sure to transfer the templates to your mobile device. In part two, I'll guide you through a new video tutorial using this template on CapCut. Make sure to download CapCut on your mobile phone. It is a free app. CapCut is a video editing tool used for editing and producing videos on mobile devices. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll do my best to assist you if you face any issues. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to give it a like and consider subscribing.